There we go. We are now recording, guys. Live, right now, playing this fun, atrocious, black-red control deck in Modern, guys. Maybe. There we go. Host new match. Alright, guys, let's get this started. Play lobby all day. The reason we're playing a play lobby, if you haven't seen the deck ticket, is because this deck is not good. I'm not going to say it's really good. I'm not going to say it's great. It's tier 2 at best. If I'm going to be honest, although I've beaten some tier 1 decks with it because they just don't, they're just not expecting this deck, which is a beneficial factor to your deck if you're playing a rogue deck. Still does not make it great, it just means you're lucky. If this deck does become popular and it's actually busted in modern, you're welcome guys, and apparently I'm awesome. Although I doubt this deck is actually that busted. Uh, so, this deck is going to be fun. Let's see, Pooch Sun. That's an interesting username. I'm gonna. Da -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Bit of lag. As Noble Troll always does. Uh, well. Well, that was a quick win, guys. Uh, so far, the record is undefeated against that deck. And that was weird. He must have chosen, like, a wrong deck or something. I've done that a few times. Or he just recognized the name. He's like, nope, I don't want to play against this guy. That's happened a few times. I've had a few just auto concessions. I'm not sure why. They never tell me. I'm going to assume it's Noble Troll is the name. But. Ooh, no. Now we're not on the play, guys. This head is not terrible. <laughs> on the draw. Uh, I'm going to keep it. I'm, I'm a little... I am a slightly greedy player. This has the best cards in the deck, really. <laughs> I'm going to find out what that was well I'm not going to just uh, I'm going to wait for his response I'm going to play Swamp I'm going to wait for his response to see if he actually responds nope okay in that case I want to find out what we're playing against. Thanks. Uh. Oh God, no storm. Oh. Oh no, guys, this is bad. What do we take here? If we take, I mean, let's just be honest. We're gonna take the Manamorphos and uh, at some point hope to survive. Hey, thanks. Uh, wow. This is a great game one matchup, guys. Uh, pro tip, this is abysmal. Scalding Tarn, that was the draw. Got it. So, we're just going to go ahead and fetch on his end step. <laughs> guys, we're probably going to lose this game. Um, if we win game one, man, that'll be great. But uh, not expecting that. At all. Island? This is, he might just have nothing. That's the best case scenario, guys. He has nothing. Do you have six your turn? Nope. Good luck to you. And then I don't see why he wouldn't just, uh, if he didn't F6 his turn, he might just be seeing that as a joke. Time to crack fetch. So, guys, we are going to get to play Liliana of the Veil. Uh, hey, if we get to get to all of our cards, Smoldering Marsh, you fetch this early when you when you can, uh, because Ghost Quarter, because uh, it all unless you get the land, it'll enter tapped. Whereas Blood Crypt, I probably should not have fetched that, but too late now, guys. Oh well. Each player discards a card. I'm definitely gonna discard this Ghost Quarter. I'm definitely, I'm thinking back. No, Manamorphos will definitely take, because if he wants to get it, we at least make him pay life. The Nox Survival may come back to bite us in the butt, but hopefully we get to ride the back of this Liliana to victory. What did he discard? Nox Survival. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that immediately. Well, what just happened? Okay, there we go. Steve Vince. We knew that card was there. Oh, that's cool art on Past Flames I haven't seen yet. Nope, that one's zoom in. Oh. 
Sunken Hollow. Okay, so let's make him think we're playing blue cards, guys. Discard Ghost Quarter, because it's useless. Can't play anything else. If we're lucky, we will get a, hey, a Flooded Strand. If we're lucky, we will not die in two seconds. No fear. Goblin Electromancer. That's not good, guys. If he plays anything, we're just going to have to... Yep, F6. He knows we have nothing. Guys, we had a shot. So, there's the Manamorphose first and Pyrrhic Ritual. Okay. Come on, untap. Pirate. Wait, what just happened? Cost three mana. Oh, we had one mana floating. Sure. Okay. Definitely going to float green to put a Noxious Revival on top. Cast Metamorphose. Metamorphose. I believe Storm only appears when you have a Storm card in your hand. Metamorphose. He didn't use Noxious Revival. Not entirely sure if that's good or bad for us. He might not entirely be used to this deck. I mean, that's pretty good. He might not entirely be used to this deck. Uh, and he might have just forgotten to use... Is that another side of hand? Okay. He might just have forgotten to use the Noxious Revival. Or he intentionally wants to save it for something else. But uh, if he has a Grape Shot, I'm expecting he'll cast it. He might be one of the few that main decks the... Uh, Empty the Warrens. I don't think we're dead here if he has Grape Shot. Noxious Revival targeting Past in Flames. Interesting choice. Grape Shot, yes. For a lot. Hopefully he doesn't have two. Are all of them at me? I mean, they all have to be at me. He might kill the Liliana, in which case we are definitely taking Goblin Electromancer with an Ongrath. So it can die. Do, 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 do. No fear into the blue card. He is killing the Liliana. That is good for us. It means we have a lot more life to work with. Little does he know, we have an Angrath. Fortunately, we don't have much else to work with. We can either hit a card from his hand, but we know he has Path and Flame, so we need to kill this Electromancer. That doesn't kill it, so we definitely have to play Angrath. Uh, I, I might be pronouncing his name wrong, by the way, guys. Angrath, the Flame Chained. Minus three. Alright, guys, let's see how this goes. We have a shot, and he has a grape shot, so we have to we have to destroy his hand, which will hopefully work out as long as he just plays a land. Play a land. Play a land. Ooh, that's good for us, guys. So, remand. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't have another one. Liliana Viss. Remand. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're not dead yet. And he knows he needs to win next turn or else he's not going to have much of a shot. Spire Bluff Canal enters tapped. Yeah. <laughs> Looking good for the home team, guys. And this is the only way we win this game, by the way, is if he whiffs like he did. Flame Collar. Doesn't do much. Plus one. Guys, the deck is doing exactly what we want it to do. Do not let this be a good showing of the deck. We got lucky, okay? There's not a chance... <laughs> this matchup normally goes to us, game one. Our opponent doesn't need to scoop yet, because we do need to kill him. S okay, Metamorphose. Sorcery, okay. He might be looking for a Gifts Ungiven or something he can play with that. Probably it's just something he can play. He also can just hope we miss using our Liliana ability. Whew, 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 whew. 
So, plus one, F6. That's all we got. Josh, we're currently beating Storm. Huh. That laugh. Oh, by the way, do you care if they know your name? Repeal. Okay. Yeah, like I was telling them, do not let this be a good showing. Normally, we do not win this matchup. He can still win if he finds an Electromancer and we can't deal with it. Why is your mouse not working? There we go. Got it. Okay. Right? He has no hand. Hmm. In about two seconds from now. The plus one only does one thing. Each opponent discards a card and loses two life. Hmm. Minus two. We're going to try and find something to kill him quickly with. A land, a land would be good. Uh, a land on top. Or a Glorybringer. No, you can put a land oh, on top. yeah, that's right. Chandra. Chandra. And play it. Smoldering Marsh, because it's good. Do you have any graveyard hate? Uh, the sideboard. This is game one. This is game one. He drew a bunch of cards and was able to grape shot for like third. For he had it for a lot, but he had to kill Lilian of the Veil vale. because mm -hmm. his hand wasn't exceptional. Okay, F six, and uh, we're not going to F six in his turn, so he, he thinks we might have something. But oh no, he drew a card. Okay, Good. we're. So I can either watch We're probably fine. Or I can watch Hooglin's pretty good. Char Belcher. But yeah. By the way, this right here is the strategy of the deck. Black, red, planeswalkers. Should be the really bit what this deck is called. Guys. Uh, hey, we got the best win condition. Stencia Blood Hall. Grape shot. Okay, great. Uh no, uh, I want a minus zero. Let's see what we got that we can kill him quickly with. Glorybringer is definitely coming out, so I'm fine showing him that. Why did I do this? I have a Chandra in play. So yeah, I can just kill him. Yeah. He's at seven. And let me show you how. I can either just play this and... Uh, plus Chandra, take him down to six, or... I just yeah. Target you. This is just so you guys know. I'm not the biggest fan of uh, the rules change about planeswalkers. about planeswalkers, letting you have multiples. I do agree. It does make this deck a lot more playable. I mean, he's the only reason this deck is. I'm gonna put quotations around playable. If this is a modern format. A lot of things are randomly playable. Guys, we won game one. I said tier two to two point five. This is like a tier three to four deck. If we're being honest. Here. Uh, Batter Skull's terrible. Three. I like Engineered Explosives over Damnation, and I like one of these Sweltering Suns less. Slaughter we're Games comes in. Right? I am recording. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Luna is terrible. These are good. I mean, and uh, well. Fatal Push, get out of my deck. Dreadbore, get out of my deck. Most modern you Heroes Downfall, play? get out of my deck. <laughs> Is there any other removal we can take out that's bad? We do not have enough cards to take out, guys. Will we on the last hope? No. Um, no, I don't like it. Colgan's Command is better than Omnictalus. Is Omnictalus worse than Palace Siege? Probably. Palace yeah, Siege. Palace Siege has gain life. Yeah, which isn't great. But I mean, Kalidus is so terrible, I'd actually... Well, he has lifelink. I like that. Yeah. So we can actually, like, sort of keep and empty the wounds and check. And is there anything else? I like I like Olivia more than Glorybringer. <laughs> I don't know if you guys knew this. This deck was not designed to beat this kind of deck. You have a Monarch token? Yeah, I, play a, I also have a Palace. Alright, alright, this hand is garbage. Alright, this hand is also terrible. And we're going to keep it. Nope, there's something good on top. Because we have... Uh, no, we need something to answer cards. This does give us Lightning Bolt. Spiral of Now, Cantrip. 100%. Slide of Hand. Our graveyard does not matter in this matchup. We only need to know about hits. Oh, this is a fetch land. So we're definitely going to lead... On the second hole, tapped. And pass. Because tapped lands may matter. We may draw land Lilian of the Veil. And 
I'd like to be able to hold up Terminate, and it's really unfortunate we drew both Terminates. Uh, but, as you guys saw, we can only take out so much. And this deck, this deck is so slow, we have to answer his creatures, or we will die. So, on that option, there's Liliana the Veil, that's step one. By the way, guys, I have a motto. It's no matter what, you always fetch. What? Always. I always fetch, even if I'm light on lands. Unless you're specifically holding lands for things like Tireless Tracker, I personally always fetch. Oh, there's a pro tip as well. If you're playing Tireless Tracker, hold your fetch lands. Yeah, if you're playing Tireless Tracker, hold your fetch lands. Hold your fetch lands. So, okay. Unless you're trying to Step play one, stuff. land. Hold Step two, lands. he's going to play Baral. Step three, we're going to play Lightning Bolt. He's going to remand it. He's going to play Blood Moon. Huh. That's actually fine, as long as we draw a second basic swamp. Speaking of basic swamp. Thank God for I didn't F6, right? Oh, not a land. Hey, you guessed Terminates. Yeah, I can cast Terminates. Probably still pretty good. I have a shot. <laughs> Not drawing a land here is probably the nail in the coffin, guys. If we could have gotten this Lily onto the board, we have a shot. There's there's the Electromancer. That's the wrong land. That's true. Because you can't flip it's... the remand anyway. This, so if we're lucky, this is bad against, like, if he has so he has a remand. Scary. That's there, a land. That is a reason. mountain. Yeah, there's the reason I played Terminate instead. I, I'd play the... Terminate? Sure. I mean, might as well, right? Because this is just still Lightning Bolt right here. So you do it as upkeep, but that's that's the storm, so it doesn't work. What's... Oh, God. Oh, okay. Moto was dying for a second, so we still can't play this Liliana. That's a big deal. So, he has plenty of time, which is unfortunate for us. Another blue source. That's also really bad for us. A four, okay. A four. If we can draw Swamp, we are in this. Maybe. If we can draw Swamp and then running lands into Liliana, Liliana, Warm Coral Engine probably won't make much of a difference. If we're going to hold on to the Sweltering Suns, because we cannot answer and empty the Warrens in this deck. If this was an Anger of the Gods, it would be the same concept. But, where's our hand disruption when you need it, right? Decommission. Huh, that's not terrible. So guys, he has nothing. We also have nothing. <laughs> Drain Grath. We might cycle this in about two seconds. Right now we're leaving up removal because... I mean, but then you can't beat Empty the Warrens. I mean, we can't beat Empty the Warrens anyways. So... If we, until, like... We're going to see what he has. Metamorphose. 100%. It definitely has a remand. Uh, we're definitely going to Lightning Bolt in response. Yeah. If he hasn't emptied the Warrens, that's still not terrible. It means he's going to empty a lot of his hand to do this. Yeah. And we can still Sweltering Suns. So, now we're holding on to Sweltering I mean, Suns. We may not empty any more cards. We just play a... I mean... Empty. Yeah. These are two cards. I mean, he if he has empty the Warrens, he's definitely going to play it. Because it makes 12 tokens. At this count, right? It's two tokens for every casting. There's Serum Visions. Man, by the way, guys, if we win this game, again, it's because he is unlucky. Uh, I also feel like he might be a... Pss, I don't know how familiar he is with this deck. I don't know, I just pretty familiar. Well, it's because game one, he had a Noxious Revival in the graveyard. He didn't... Ca he had a Metamorphose and he had Cast Passive. He used to put a Past in Flames, Gifts Ungiven. Uh, does he have Mana Floating? No, he's just casting it. Okay, so this is a big deal. <laughs> Can't do much because we're black and red. So guys, I like the point. We're slightly laggy, and we're still ahead of our opponent on clock. I mean, it's because they're playing storm. Okay, so uh, we can't afford him to give him those. Uh, so give him the two guys. The guys. 
That's one. Put so, into their graveyard. Yeah, no matter what. Pass the flames goes in the graveyard. No matter what, he's getting a pass in flames. In the graveyard. The ascension you can't beat. So you might as well give him the two dudes. Because your only hope of winning is, is him and like nothing. Both yeah, yeah. Dudes and well, the problem is there's a land that we can't use to cast any of our good cards. Because <laughs> they're all double black or five mana. God, this Blood Moon is brutal! Welcome to the card. Punish normally, decks, normally it's not that bad. Lol. Punish greedy decks. Lol. Yeah. I've beat this card legitimately. Blood Moon. I've played against it four times. I've only lost once. About to lose again. <laughs> Nothing? You're not going to try something? Dude, really? This is the time to be alive. Swamp! Angrath. Oh, I mean, if he has a remand, we cannot do anything at all. You're probably dead. Damn it. You're probably dead. I mean, it's guaranteed we're dead. Language, sir. Sorry, we'll have to edit that out. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, so, remand, we couldn't beat no matter what we did, unless we cycled this and drew some kind of one mana removal spell. So, uh, we have to hope he can't kill us this next turn, and I can. He discarded the Electromancer, and I can guarantee you that's not gonna happen. Probably pretty dead. Oh, 100%. Land. Yeah, so he can he can pass some flames and gifts and play a bunch of rituals. You're dead. Uh, I don't need to do math. You're pretty dead. Let's see. He might misclick. No, okay. okay. That's another gifts and given. Concede. Uh, game two, everybody. <laughs> wow, we play hand disruption, right? By the way, guys, on the on the plate, nothing really changes. I'm looking at your list. Yeah. Yeah, I I still I mean, want this removal because it's it, probably worse than Fatal Push. That's a fair point. Does anything else change? Can't really do much against this deck. <laughs> Aside from that, I mean, that would have made a difference there. Uh, but eh. I, by the way, I'd like to point out. For those of you who think Blood Moon is a fair magic card, you're lying to yourself because he just brought Blood Moon in against a black red control deck. And it won him the game. I'd love to play first. Hand disruption? By the way, this is the only th this is the deck that makes me want to play not this hand. It's good cards, but only one hand disruption and no other form. <sighs> we're on a we're on a mall. I'm gonna take it because we have a thought seize. I'm gonna keep that Thoughtseize on top. I'm excited. So you're in Thoughtseize and the Thoughtseize? A hundred percent. I would have bought Thoughtseize here. I wouldn't. You need lands. Pyromancher's Ascension. <laughs> that card's pretty good, right? Maybe people are playing it again. That card is really good. This is the deck to play it against. When I play Storm, I play Flooded Pyromancer's Strand. Play Slide of Hand. There's no way he's not playing the sleight of hand. What did I just click to reveal off? Nothing? That's fine. We're about to see, see it all again, so. Thought sees. I love playing this card. I don't I don't often get to play this card effectively. Okay, it's a grape shot. Or a metamorphos. Uh Serum Visions. Well I would take a Serum Visions because he's setting up. The thing is, though, that this is a really good hand. I'm going to take the. I haven't seen what you said because it's a draw spell that actually can filter. Because you should have bonded with us in the first place. But... Dude. Are you this deck does one thing. Legitimately. However, you need lands. Spire Bluff Canal, Ghost Quarter, Inquisition of Co. That's the wrong land. Inquisition of Kozilek. So, another Metamorphose, which we're going to take. Uh, yeah, probably. And F4. Is the one that can't trips. Mm -hmm. We're definitely going to be cycling the Sweltering Sun in about two seconds. Put these over there. Uh, this card actually does. Some of the taps creatures, right? Something like that. Priority Ritual. This reeks. Reeks of Empty the Warrens. Crystal Vein. Blood Moon. 
Um. Nah. Nah. I need to. I need. We need our lands. Land. Uh, so we're not dead yet, uh, and he doesn't have much going on. Uh, he also doesn't have any more blue lands. Oh, by the way, guys, pyretic ritual, sure. This is gonna be like my knife off of things. Like when he blood moon himself every game that was in the threat of flames. What are you metamorphose? He must have a blue card. That would be really I mean he can't cast it. He only goes up to three. So I don't know what he's using. Flood of Strand? Okay. Now wait what? He just had two cards. Whatever. I Maybe, oh, Manamorphos draws a card. It replaces itself. Why is it not showing us the storm count? Uh, because Moto, Moto sucks. Scripture, sure. What is, he, what is he going for? What's the point of this? Just Scripture, I guess. Oh, oh, um, F5. F5! Uh, it might have changed. Dang it! Where's the stop passing? It's F3. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, just one card in hand. We're going to go ahead and cycle this now, guys. To try and draw anything, really. And uh, I wish we could have cycled last turn. It, well, that wouldn't have made a difference. So it's fine. Uh, if we get a play 6 drop, it's going to be Worm Coil Engine. Land. Okay. We're not dead yet. Land, land, land. Uh, discard a card. Do you leave one card in? Yeah. I'll do it now. 100%. F6. Remand? Well, could have been better. Uh, could also be worse. Land? Land! So, guys. We can either get our Chandra on, or I'm definitely getting the Lifelink card because we need to survive. Yeah, so get the... This gets us out of Grape Shot range very quickly. Guys, if we win this, it's because our opponent played Blood Moon. Oh! Uh, that means... 100%. Passive points. Passive. Or... Grape Shot. So, he's got one card in hand. He, without blue mana, he's not going to be able to... Yeah, I know. It's going to take him forever to try and build up to a lethal grape shot. He's only got three turns. Past in flames. And even if he goes to, like, somehow we build up to the storm six and gets to... Um, so, past in flames. Does he only play two? Only plays two, and his hand is garbage. I mean, it's not garbage, but he can't cast cards. So, we need to type that in. Pyretic. Uh, I can just remember for you. Opt. Okay, let's see what else he has. Let's see if he has anything that's not Grape Shot. Empty the Warrens Empty the is in the deck. Yeah, but you have the answer for that in your hand. No, that's right. We have a Chandra. I don't care that it empties out my mana pool. I care about attacking with my 6 6 lifelink death touch. Worm Coil Engine for the win, guys. You put this on the pile of the deck, <laughs> you just type in K. Yeah. He also totally F6 his first turn on game one. We can't oh. cast that card. Just go for 100%. Nope, 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 nope. Stop passing. Right now. Just right click. Turn off auto yield. There you go. That's an energy that doesn't do. Vengeful Rebel. Is reading it to see if he has any way out of it, it looks like. Okay. Guys, we beat Storm. Lost game two, but we beat Storm. Holy crap. So that's game one. Most decks in modern You're wanting to do... Uh, what? Most decks in... If you build a semi-playable deck in modern, you can generally go 2-3 to 3-2 with it. Talk about modern. So, alright, we're going to be back in the next recording. Anything we want to mention about this before uh, we... You can find the place to find us in the thing below. Right. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to tell us this deck is not competitive because it's not, and we know that. 
Thank you for letting us know that. FNM.